Hello. If you have watched my previous video, you probably know by now that I turned 22 recently. And for my 22nd birthday, I'm going to host, organize a birthday party, which will be Eurovision themed. So the people I'll invite have to come dressed as something Eurovision related. And of course, me being the birthday is that a word? It is now. I'm going to make a costume myself because why wouldn't I? I decided to go as Damiano David from Moneskin. I'm going to recreate his Eurovision outfit, which probably will be kind of a challenge, but it's a challenge I'm up for. So um, now that I said this, I'm going to really have to do that. Let's see how much time I have. I'm going to celebrate my birthday on my birthday itself. So that's the 25th of November. And today it is the 6th of November. Wait, no, it's the 7th of November because it's 9 past 12 a.m. Um, so I even have less time. Also, it's the day after Conchita Wurst's birthday today. Yay! Um, yes, I'm also recording the intro for this video on the same day I recorded my intro for my previous video. Like literally five minutes ago, I was recording the intro for my previous video. So, um, let's go. So I've been looking at Damiano David's Eurovision outfits and like the Eurovision performance and pictures on Google images. And, um, this looks like a very difficult thing to make because look, don't mind my dirty screen. Um, it's got like seams in places that I've never made seams and I have to make all these crosses and it's got these buttons and stuff. So I think I'm going to have to make a mock-up from fabric that I already have so I can like kind of see how I'm going to make this with the actual fabric I'm going to have to use for the outfit because I want to do this right. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that if I want to succeed in this. So my roommate, his university study is veterinary and he organized an event for his study a while ago and for that event he needed a lot of shirts for all of the crew. Now we had a whole box of crew shirts left so he gave them to me which um, is a big win because now I have a lot of fabric and I use that fabric to make the mock-up. Okay, the mock up is done it's not completely done because this obviously needs to be tighter for the real thing and these straps i literally just pinned them on there so this isn't how it's going to look but i think this part the pants part is fine and in literally three minutes it'll be the 14th of november and this needs to be done on the 25th of november which is my birthday um so i really need to get going you know um so yeah that's the update i got the fabric for the suits. It's a bit heavy. I'm going to unpack it now. I'm kind of scared of opening this because I feel like if I open this, I really have to do it. You know? I am kind of scared of messing it up because I've never worked with fake leather before. Not even leather in general. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's really pretty. I think it's about the right color for the suits. Ooh, I really like this. I mean, okay. I was a bit scared about the color and if it maybe had some like texture on there because I wasn't really sure about that on the side but this seems about right and I also ordered grommets and like a grommet puncher which I ordered for free because I got a coupon for this Dutch web shop and there was way more on there than I thought so I could order that for free and I even got some left on the coupon so that's yet another win together with this one okay you know I have I have faith in how this is going to turn out knock on wood Look what I just got in the mail. The grommets and the thing that I'm going to punch the holes for the grommet with. Is it grommets? I feel like I'm saying it right, but maybe I'm not saying it right. Look at this. Amazing. Wait, I'm going to take it out. The fact that I got this for free basically just makes it feel even better that I have this now. Look at that. And it's got different sizes, I guess. Or like, how does this work? I'll figure it out, you know? And these are the rings that came with it. I'm not sure if these, I, I feel like the rings on Damiano's suits are bigger. I'll see if I'm going to order or like get bigger ones or not, because you know, that also costs money, but we'll see, I guess. Anyway, at least I'm happy that I basically have all of the material for making the outfit. Yay. Okay, I took apart my mock-up version of the suits, so now I can finally trace those parts that I took apart and cut them out and sew them together. I gotta say, I've kind of been purposefully, I guess, procrastinating again to cut into this because, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous about cutting this, you know, because I've never worked with this kind of fabric before. Um, 
but I guess it's time to do it, so I will. You know, I'm really happy that the Eurovision winner is like this internationally famous right now. I feel like Monskin's victory really positively impacted Eurovision's reputation, basically. But let's be honest, Eurovision's reputation was already kind of, you know, going in the right direction again. But still, what I do think was a bit disappointing is that Monskin did not hand over the trophy to Kalush Orchestra. Why not? The last time we saw the previous Eurovision winner hand over the trophy to the new Eurovision winner was in 2019 because 2020 was cancelled and Duncan had COVID in 2021. So Kalush Orchestra, you better hand over the trophy this year, please. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I had to use clothes pins to keep the fabric together instead of regular normal pins because those make holes and I feel like those would still be visible in fake leather. So, you know, you can't say I'm not innovative. Okay, um, I finished the first part of the pants. Let me show you. It's kind of wrinkled. I think the height is about right. Like it should go here. It's a little bit loose, but um, I still have to add the rope and the grommets, you know? So I think that'll kind of take in the fabric and I can always make it a bit tighter because that's easier than having pants that are too tight and making them looser, you know? So I think I did a pretty good job for this first step, I guess. Don't mind the socks, they're happy socks. <laughs> I think it's going well until now, but now I have to make grommets for the first time ever. So that's maybe going to be a challenge, maybe not, let's see. Okay, adesso i pantaloni sono un po' più stretti. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what that was. I wanted to say, right now the pants are a bit tighter. No, they're not. still not how I want them to be, but I first have to make them... You know, the... Oh my god, I'm... The grommets. I have to put in the grommets. So I have to do that first and then I'll make them really the right size, you know? So here I basically marked out four strips which were all the same size and the same length. And then I cut those out and then on those separate strips I marked spots where the grommets should eventually come. Okay, so now I put dots on every strip where I need to punch a hole and then punch in a ring in there, the grommets so that I can, you know, make those tied crosses. I'm going to use yarn. It's the same yarn that I used for the Valentina Moneta video. I'm going to use yarn because I'm not going to buy a rope and I can basically just use this. Maybe it'll give it kind of a cheap look, but I'm fine with that, to be honest. So I'm going to use this one and this one. I tested it out today for the first time. And after a few tries, I eventually got these rings. You know, as you can see, this one, a bit wrong but this is the last one i tried so now i know how to do it so i'm going to do it i counted the grommets on damiano's suit so i kind of have to calculate how i'm going to divide these equally over the whole suit because i don't have enough to make exactly the same amount of grommets on my suit as on damiano's suit so i have to kind of figure that out but mathematics aren't my strongest suit so i have to see how i'm going to save this um Anyway, let's just go do this. While I was doing this, I was watching the series Superstore on Netflix, but it's taken off Netflix. I can't watch it anymore. I wanted to continue watching it on the 1st of January, but it was taken off of Netflix. Why? Anyway, that was my rant. I heavily underestimated this. I just finished one of the five strips in total. I have to do, well, one of them is like a fourth of this length, but still. And I'm already almost through all of my rings so i will have to order new ones and just hope they will be here in time but yeah the the result is okay i guess it just takes a lot of time and my hands also hurt because you really need to put a lot of pressure onto these things for them to work so um i'm exhausted already and it's not even finished yet so um this will be fun because it's also kind of a race against the clock like it usually is when i do these kinds of things but i'm happy with the result so that's at least something. Okay, so here's how I do the grommets. First, I punch a hole on a marked spot. Then after that, I take a crocheting needle and basically make sure the punched hole is completely open so there's no excess fabric in there. Then I take one of the rings out of the bag and I place those onto the fabric basically. Then I get another puncher, which I use to basically enclose the rings onto the fabric.
I basically repeated that process with every strip but you couldn't really see that because this first camera angle didn't really show that but I fixed that with the second camera angle well I finished four of these um, my hands hurt so much especially this one my right hand hurts so much from the amount of pressure you have to apply to these things but I did it so you know anything for Damiano or at least his outfits I still need to do one small part you know the part in the middle and then I just have to sew these into the suit and make the straps and then I'm basically done with the pants themselves so yeah so here you can see me cutting open the pants oh this by the way is a random shot of my roommate Colleen making her outfit for my party if you watched my Sarah McDurnan video you might already know what this is going to be because there was an easter egg in there anyway I was pretty anxious about cutting open my pants because I was kind of scared of messing it up but it went well I guess so I just sewed the pants back together with the strips in between the cut open legs if that makes sense um also I just took a shower here so that that's why my hair looks like that and yes I am once again using my shirt that I bought for my Halloween costumes video as pajama because you know why not okay not to brag but that's exactly what I am going to do I am pretty proud of how this is turning out like I just have to do this part this part and the back parts and then do the, the ropes and then I'm basically done with the pants and I just have to do the strips so yeah I'm kind of on schedule I guess that's a first but it's a win and I have to make it tighter of course because I feel like Damiano's suit was tighter than this but that's something i'll take care of after these parts are all added so this was the next day and as you can see i was sewing the top part of the pants so that the top part would look finished and the same day i also went to the thrift shop with my roommate tim to get boots to go with the damiano outfit of course i tried to hand sew the boots so that they would look tight again because the boots were too wide i think because they were worn before because they're second hand of course okay the sewing didn't help at all so i'm just going to leave the boots like this and just spray paint them black and leave it like that i guess so i did that but you can't really see that because i didn't really strategically place everything so that the camera could see everything i was spray painting but i also had to spray paint this box again for Colleen's costume which i will reveal later in this video don't worry then after that i did the lacing of the pants with the yarn i basically did that with a crochet hook and just pulled the yarn through the holes it was a bit complicated at first but eventually i got the hang of it but it did take a pretty long time to do that okay i finished the lacing and look at this i am pretty proud of how this is turning out it's obviously still too wide the pants so i'm going to make them tighter and then add the um straps also um this isn't the most comfortable thing to wear because the inside of the rings are not smooth so they are literally poking into my legs but you know you gotta make some sacrifices for fashion i zoomed in on damiano's suit and i'm pretty sure there's like a fabric behind the rings behind the laces so he probably didn't have that but i don't think i have time to add those so i'll just do that if i have some spare time tomorrow tomorrow's also my birthday so it has to be finished by tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's going far. It, what? But it's going well so far. So far so good. I just have to do these final two steps and then I'm done. Yay. So I started making the pants tighter, which is a task I finished the next day <laughs> on my birthday, as you can see by my Sarah McTurnan shirt, but you know that doesn't matter. Okay, look. The pants are like about the right size now and as you can see i put them on inside out and that way they are comfortable but, but i'm going to put them on the right side in these things are going to be poking into my leg so i think that's going to be torture but that's the only way i'm going to be able to wear this so i have to do that maybe i'll wear something underneath or something if it really hurts that much but let's see to my surprise putting it on it hurts a little but you just have to be strategic about it oh my god i lost a <gasps> No, I lost one. Oh no! Oh well, this really sucks. Anyway, I just noticed this. But wearing it, it doesn't hurt. So there's that. Now I'm going to have to see how I'm going to fix this. Oh, I'm really bummed out about this. I hope it's just one. Anyway, um, so, you know, I'm not in pain. <laughs> Thank God. 
you know what I just saw on my Instagram feed while wearing my Sarah McTurner shirt? Sarah McTurner just released a new song on my birthday. Sarah, thank you so much. It's so kind of you and so thoughtful. Thank you so much. Since Damiano's shoes were like red bottom shoes or heels, I am going to paint them red because I mean, uh, why not? You know, why not? I am going to be Damiano David after all. So yeah, I'm just going to do it. Also, yes, I'm wearing a black shirt over my Sarah McTurnan shirt because it takes too much effort to take off this shirt because it's color too tight. So I'm just wearing something on top of it to protect it from the paint. Look, I know it's extra to paint the bottom of the shoes since no one's really going to pay any attention to what the bottom of my shoes look like. But you know, I felt like I had to go the extra mile and I'm just extra, I guess. For the straps holding the pants up, I basically just cut two long strips and you guessed it sew them together okay these are the straps that are going to keep my pants off it has to be crossed backwards so i'm going to pin it or well clip it to the pants like this and then sew it and then make the rings on it and hopefully i'll be able to do that in time for my birthday party <laughs> because it's today also i need to make the necklace um but i don't know how so that's going to be a matter of improvisation so yeah that's the update i think i found something for the necklace i'm just going to take my keys and take off this big ring and just make something out of that i guess i guess it's not really a necklace but more a choker that would be more accurate but um i often don't really use the correct words for terms i think anyway this took way longer than i expected but um the result is fine i'm happy with the result also i sewed these straps to the pants okay these are the legs that i um can use for the decoration i got these a while ago for something else i think we had a party a theme party but in the end we didn't go through with that so they're still in the package um you know an advantage of this is that basically almost every country has at least one of these colors in their flag so that way it's also kind of eurovision because i'm including every country well at least most of most countries in a way you know um, and also these are the colors of my country the netherlands and also the colors of the host country of next year the united kingdom unfortunately i don't have any yellow because then i also would have had the colors of the winning country of this year ukraine but i don't unfortunately but yeah i'm going to use these it's a very light blue so maybe it's more of a luxembourg themed party i guess maybe they should be a sign that luxembourg should return to Eurovision. Anyway, here I put the finishing touches to the straps of my pants. Decoration wise, my party wasn't that spectacular, but you know, I was on a budget and I had a lot of time pressure, so excuse me. Okay, I made the things on the straps and I made the necklace. Um, I accidentally put these inside out, so that's a bit unfortunate, but I think I still look good. And Luna is ook weer van de partij. <laughs> Amazing. <coughs> <laughs> She's going to do my makeup. Ja, ga je het in je vlogje doen? Ja, tuurlijk. Mensen! That was Luna, you may recognize her from my video when I went to Eurovision in 2021 to the first semi-final with her. Um, anyway, she did my makeup and um, you know, I'll just show you what the outfit looked like. I didn't really film a reveal, but here are some impressions from my party. Eva went as Rolf Machenbach, Luna went as a 3-in-1 version of Ojin, Jesselyn went as Ole, the rapper from Kalush Orchestra, and Miriam went as Melovin. There were more people at my party, but, but I unfortunately didn't take a picture with everyone, which is really Sad. Anyway, I also had some wardrobe malfunctions, which I'll show you now. My outfit, okay, this is going to be seen in the dunker. Let me. I'm going to show you how broken my outfit is. It's literally ripped apart. I am heartbroken. <laughs> It's the middle of my birthday. Wait, let me take my glasses off. It's the middle of my birthday and my knee is literally red because the buttons in my pants ripped it open. <laughs> so there's blood in my pants. And also they're like ripped open. I'm really disappointed by the fact that they're just ripped open. I did not sign up for this, but um, overall my birthday party is really fun. So that's a win. Okay, remember how I told you I was going to show Carlyne's outfit that she made? Here it is. <clears throat> it is 
treintje oost -Ruis. It's a train. And if you don't get it, treintje basically means little train in Dutch, but it's just spelled differently. I know, it's a hard name to pronounce, so you can also call it little train or anything you like. Treintje Oosterhuis. What a name, huh? So that's why Colleen made a train. It's pretty iconic if you ask me. That's also the Easter egg from my Cerbertorn video because she first printed out this hat too small so I just framed it and I still got it. Anyway, I'm also going to show you what I got from my roommates for my birthday. Colleen told me I had to save this for at least two months and um, now that I finally, you know, finished my video after three months. I feel like I can finally throw this away because it's taking up some space in my room. But I, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I don't think you're watching this, so. I don't think you'll be saying, why, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the thing I got from my roommate is this shirt. Crazy Eurovision fan. They just know me too well. It's true, it's what I am. Not that no one already knew this about me, but you know, just to be sure I can wear this. By the way, this is another picture from my party that I found. I think it's me almost falling over. This is Toike, my roommate. She went as Anouk. And this arm right here is Aida. She went as Emma Waterboot. And I gave her the, you know, frame from my Halloween costumes video because it's literally the frame of Emma Waterboot that I made. But I don't have a picture with Maida. It's so awful, but we did watch Benny Dorfest together because she's all Spanish. Um, fun fact, I don't know. Um, anyway, Toike, my roommate, she lent me her nail polish because Damiano wore black nail polish on Eurovision, but I totally forgot to wear it and I still have it after almost three months. So I really need to return this to her. Anyway, oh, also I'm filming this on my new ring light. I don't know if you can see a difference, I hope you can, but I got it for Christmas, which I'm happy with. If you want to see the damage that my Damiano outfit caused, um, look away if you are not good at handling blood, but there's a photo of the inside of my pants. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's not too great. And um, I'm also disappointed that my fabric ripped because I've still got this much left. What am I going to do with all of this fabric if it's going to rip if I wear it? I need to think of something. Wait, isn't this kind of the same fabric that Sarah McTurn wore in Eurovision? Or am I seeing things? Anyway, um, I didn't really make a Valentine's Day video for this year. Unfortunately, I know last year I made a Valentina Moneta video, but I guess you can see this video as a Valentine's Day video because um, I don't have anything else and I'm uploading this on the 14th of February, if everything goes well. <laughs> it did. Well, at least I finished editing this video on the 14th. I don't know if this video will be uploaded on the 14th i think it will be but it'll depend on my internet connection we'll just let fate decide anyway i am of course wearing my valentina moneta crew neck because it's valentine's day and i'm going to make i'm going to try to make it a personal tradition to always wear this crew neck on valentine's day so um when does something become a tradition after three times isn't that like an unwritten rule or something i don't know anyway if that's the case i'm on two thirds of making this a tradition for myself so yeah this was my video of my birthday almost three months too late i am so great at this youtube thing <laughs> um anyway i hope you liked it what should i make next what eurovision outfits do you want to see me make next let me know in the comments maybe i will do that thank you so much for watching and hopefully until next time ciao